एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू हजाइन ए स्टैटिक आई पी एड्रेस टू ए वर्चुअल मशीन वेन एवर यू क्रिएट ए वी एम इन जी सी पी दैट वी एम गेट्स अजाइन ए डायनामिक आई पी एड्रेस सो दिस डायनामिक आई पी एड्रेस विल चेंज इफ द वी एम इज स्टॉप्ड और इज स्टार्टेड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट द आई पी एड्रेस टू रिमेन सेम इवन आफ्टर द वी एम इज स्टॉप्ड और इज स्टार्टेड यू कैन अजाइन ए स्टैटिक आई पी एड्रेस टू द वी एम सो लेट्स ये हाउ टू डू इट here under navigation menu uh, search for vpc network click on vpc network under vpc network navigate to ip addresses under ip address page you can see there are two ip address here one is internal and another is external so these two ip addresses are used by my vm instance so it is assigned to my vm instance so let's uh, click on reserve external static ip address here provide a name to your static ip address here you can select the network service tier premium or standard then ip version when you are creating a static ip address you can attach the ip address to the instance so in attach to you can select your instance to which you want to assign the static ip address uh, but I'll, uh, let me leave it as none we'll see how we can assign it later point now click on resolve so this is creating the static ip address so now my static ip address is created so this is ip address and the access type is external and and it is using us central one region this is the region where uh, my vm instance is located and here you can see under type it is static which means uh, the ip address will not change it remains constant in use it is showing it as none that means it's not at assigned to any instance so if you want to attach this a uh, static ip address to your vm instance then you can do so by scroll towards your right the labels click on change here attach to select your instance and click on okay as you can see there was one more external ip address um, which was attached to my vm instance but as soon as i assigned this uh, static ip address to my instance that external ip address got deleted and it got changed to this so let's go back to our vm instance this is my vm instance and you can see there is an external ip so this is the external ip address which we just assigned so let's click on this so let's stop this vm instance and see whether this external ip remains constant or not so i will stop this uh, vm instance now now the instance is stopped but you can see the external ip address is still attached to the vm instance so let's start this vm instance by clicking on start now we can see the external ip address is still present it's not changed so now the instance is started and the external ip address is still same so if we had the uh, ephemeral external ip address that would have changed whenever we stop or um, restart the vm instance but since uh, this instance is using the static external ip address the ip address will not change even when the vm gets restarted so let me create a new instance i'll keep the instance name as instance 3 and i will select the region as us central 1 under machine configuration i will select the series e2 and i will keep it um, e2 medium as a machine type so all the firewall under advanced option under network interfaces click on this default here under ip stack type select the primary internal ip so here we don't want the ephemeral ip address we need to have a i want the static internal ip address for this instance so i will select this here you can name the static internal ip address the subnet it will be using the default one and the static ip address you can assign automatically you can select this um, assign automatically option or you can also customize your ip address by clicking on let me choose so here you can provide your custom ip address i'll select assign automatically and click on reserve so once this is done click on done 
and click on create instance. So now the instance 3 is created with the uh, static internal IP address. So this is my static internal IP address and this is the external IP address. So when I stop and restart this um, VM, this static internal IP address will not change. So this is how you reserve a static internal IP address to your instance. So here uh, uh, you can click on this instance and click on edit. Scroll down under net network interfaces. So this is using ephemeral internal IP. So let's click on static. So you can reserve a static IP address. So this, this is nothing but you are promoting the ephemeral IP address to a reserved static internal IP. Click on reserve. So now we have promoted the ephemeral IP address to the static IP address. So this is possible. You can click on save. So here when you go back uh, to the instance page, so you, you can see that internal IP address is now changed to my static IP address, but it is using the same IP address here, which means you cannot change this internal IP address of a running instance. You can just promote the IP address from ephemeral to static IP address and the address remains same. It will not be changed. Now let's try to assign a static internal IP address to this instance 2. Let's see if, if it works or not. So I'm in the instance um, 2 page. Here click on edit, scroll down in the network interface in primary internal IP. So I have one static IP address already available. Let me select this and click on save. So there is an error here, invalid value for field resource. Updating, the, uh, updating this field is not supported. So this is not allowed. You cannot assign a static internal IP address to a running VM. You can only promote the ephemeral to static internal IP address, but you cannot assign already existing static internal IP address to this VM. So that is not allowed. So we are done with our lab. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any queries or suggestions, please feel free to leave them under comment box.